Hi. I'd like to start the show with a song. New you, you, you. I sing that as a test to connect with real guidance and real education um, from real guides. So if a person um, wants to find out for themselves what life shows them, test it before you go to sleep each evening for like 15 minutes and 15 minutes when you wake up in the morning and sit, find out for yourself what the new presentation is all about. There's new books available. The Adventure Is series by Dwayne the Great Writer, available at lulu.com. Um, today, we have um, a lady, Nancy Visco, is supposed to be on to be interviewed, and she has experiences with um, fairies that sounds very interesting. It's not very many people that seem to have these experiences um, in, in that I'm aware of. But anyway, Dean Val of Nations United Universal University is trying to get a hold of her. She was supposed to call in. Are you there, Nancy? Yes, I am. Oh, hi. Yeah, great. Um, we're interested in... You write books and um, children's books about the fairies. Is is that what the, your books are mainly about? Uh, it, it is about fairies and also, also the uh, fourth dimension. Uh, that's the which dimension? The fourth dimension. Um, would that be, let's see, physical, astral, causal, mental dimension? Uh, no, just like uh, we're basically, from my understanding, we're in the third dimension as far as physical is concerned. So, uh, what are you calling be, a dimension? Um, vibration, a frequency. Uh huh. Oh, the, um, you know, what's the difference? Faster, what's the difference for with what? Of the vibrations. Oh well, the the uh, higher the vibration, and then the close you. The, my understanding: the higher the vibration, the close you are to being non-physical, like the celestial beings and our Creator, that are, are such a higher vibration. They get they are not they are not physical. They're more a spiritual form, or an energy, even just basically an energy. So that's what my uh -huh. basically my book's about the, the the fairies and the elementals dwell in that fourth dimension, which is obviously the frequency is a little higher, which is normally why we can't see them, but their energy is here. Yes, it's very interesting that you have a relationship with a fairy or fairies, and you say the elementals; these are the the um, Fire and water and earth and air beings, or what do you call them? Is that them? Yes, that's them. That's the energies. And then also you would have other energies um, considered yeah, the like devas. gnomes. Yeah, yeah what? all of all of those. A devas, D E V A S. Those are energies of uh, the trees. Oh, because every, wow. Every every plant, every flower, every even animals all have. They're all a being, and they all have an energy about them. I'm curious. Why do you think that you have um, that they will um, have a relationship with you, and not like with everybody isn't aware of fairies being existing or these vibrations? I think it's because I, well, the first thing is, of course, I believe in them. And there are actually a lot of people who do believe in them. Um, 
I don't know if Tinkerbell started it or not, but <laughs> that's a Disney one. But um, it's just something I started thinking about, and after reading so many metaphysical books, uh, I just started kind of painting them. Like I got books on fairies and read about them and painting them, and then uh, just one morning about four years ago, I woke up 4 a.m., which normally I don't wake up that early too often, and this uh, idea and the story just came into my head. So I got up and I wrote the 12 chapters that I I ba- basically believe I was given. I wasn't quite sure what was going to be in them, but as I began to write, then the information came. Aha. Uh-huh. Um, do you do you meet the fairies in um, what what's called your dream visions or in the awake what uh, we call this awakened state. It, it's more of a, in an awakened state for me, and it's more of a feeling their energy, particularly. And uh, actually, anyone can feel their energy and any of nature's energy, particularly when you're outside. The closer you are to nature, then the more it's going to resonate with you, and. Um, it's just kind of about about your vibration, learning how to raise your vibration so that you can be in contact with that. When you talk about the um, fairies or or have a relationship with them, do you ha- do you have a do they have names or how how do you communicate? Well, let's see. That's a good question. Um, Yes, they 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 have names. All all fairies have names. Um, um, the main one that was in my book was called Sunshine, which was the guide to my character. And she's kind of a an overall fairy in that dimension. And then there are other fairies, that, depending on what their I would say what their job their jobs are or their association with nature is. You can have flower fairies and and even you can read in the early 1900s where they would write about a violet fairy or a rose fairy just because they tend to um, cultivate and give energy to those particular flowers. Um, A few ones that I hadn't been aware of that came out as I was writing was uh, they're called twig fairies. And they help work with the small branches and the small leaves and the small uh, twigs that are beginning to grow and probably need some encouragement. Just more, it's more of an of an energy. So, uh, yes, there there are different names, and they I I just it's more in my writing that they speak with me when I sit down to write. That's when the information comes. Do they complain about what man is doing? Oh, yes. <laughs> in fact, they're almost to the point, and this is something I'm going to be working on more in the future. Um, is, And uh, there are a lot of people who do this, I'm, I'm sure, as we're well aware, just, you know, that we need to take care of our environment because the fairies are just like behind me shrugging their shoulders with their hands up saying, hey, you know, we only can do so much. And there, there is a lot of, a lot of that. There's a big problem with that. And, um, and of course, animals too. They, they have the same situation where they're um, not treated correctly, particularly, you know, in the fishing industry and things like that. And um, so that's, yes, I would say they're not happy at all. Yeah, I understand that, all right, um, why they wouldn't be happy with the humans. Um, yeah. I, I think I'll open up um, the questions for anybody else on the line. Dean Val, would you like to ask um, Nancy some questions or have something that you'd like to say? Sure. Hi, Nancy. This is Val again, and thanks hey, for being on. Um Let's see, I'll read. We didn't really get a chance to introduce you, but this is part of the... the by the way, Nancy's going to be at San Clemente 
next Saturday for a book signing. And this is what I got off the flyer. I'm in also in Southern California in Huntington Beach. Oh. So, yeah, I uh, I made contact with uh, Nancy indirectly at the Children's Book Festival at Orange Coast College. Uh, this was last weekend. And I didn't get a chance to talk to you, but I talked to your, your helper. And we were fortunate you know, Michelle volunteered you for the show, so thank you for being on. Uh, yes. I'm delighted. This is, thank you. <laughs> this is part of the, uh, I, I guess it's part of the book here. By accident, a young lass stumbles into the fourth dimension, land of the fairies. Her escort, Sunshine, a tiny fairy, shows her the wonders of this realm. Many exceptional beings welcome her with open hearts, except one. Will she escape from the bewitching dark fairy of misery who has lost her light? Uh, so at first when I read this, I thought, well, I heard that um, somebody had gone to Australia to visit a friend, and then they went into the forest, and then and then they met Sunshine. Now, is this... Is this your character, or is this happening to you? Did this happen to you? <laughs> a lot, of, a lot of those uh, uh, situations in the book did uh, are are part of you know part of my life. Like I did visit Australia, I used that area because it was a, you know a beautiful forest that I happened to uh, walk in. So that was kind of where that came from, and. Um, yeah, and other parts in the book are related to some things, uh, you know, in my past. They always say mm-hmm. when you write, you know, try to draw a little bit from your past. So part of that is um, most of it is the story of, the, you know, of that particular realm. Do these things come to you as you write, or do you have uh, dreams at nighttime, too, that you access to get information and contact these beings? You know, I'm sure that have dreams and I I dream <laughs> all the time. They used to say write down your dreams. I got so tired of writing them down. I said, hey, you know, hey, I'm done with that. But <laughs> but uh, I'm sure that that's a part of my inspiration. But I do know that when I, I sit and I'll meditate and I'll decide to write and then it'll just, it's kind of like my fingers just go over the keyboard and the words come. So that's kind of why I know a lot of this is real more given to me through me rather than just being and it it is always part of your imagination but then of course our imagination is the door to everything and 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 very important for for all all people to make us aware yeah it's very interesting you're cpa by day and then the writer by um (laughs) in your free time (laughs) if you have any right by so that's that's true that's true Mm -hmm. Very literal to very imaginative. Well, I think I'm blessed that both sides of my brain work. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. the left and the right. I, I am analytical, and I, and I, you know, I. Um, this is just something I fell into over the years because I happen to be good at it and uh, develop my own practice. Um, so that's you know that that part of my brain. But I've always loved to read. I love to search. Um, you know any any new ideas, any new circumstances, and um, I, I had I'd always been able to uh, draw when I was younger. So I have now since taken that talent up again in the last couple of years, and I took up watercoloring, and I now I'm watercoloring fairy. So um, and they are pr- improving over with time, but it's just another outlet for you know creativity. And how how are the children accepting um, or reacting to your stories? Do you go out and read the children, or do you see any response, or how is the response? Uh, so far, it's been pretty good, and, and I would say when you're talking about children, they're usually, um, I would say, 10 and older. This book's not really written for um, small children um, because it is a little bit more in-depth, there's more. There are messages within the story, and um, 
so they would have to be able to, not that little children wouldn't relate to it, but I think that like 10 or 12 or 13 up will relate to it more. Um, I've had um, two or three young ladies uh, want to read it. I haven't, uh, I just published this in uh, later part about around July. So it's just now, you know, finally getting out there. I'm finally promoting it um, because I do have my full-time job. <laughs> so, um, mm-hmm. So, but uh, so far the response seems to be, um, you know, where they're where they're interested in it, and and some of the feedback I've been uh, getting is is very good. And how many books have you written, and what's the last one that you wrote and published in July? So this, is first, this is the first one that I wrote, which is called The Fury okay. Portal. I am currently working on a sequel to that, which um, I'm about halfway through. I'd like to get it published before the end of the year, um, and it's called Through the Eyes of Faye. Uh, it's going to be a continuation of the story and even a little bit more, I think, deeper. You know, when you write your first one, I, I kind of wrote it, I would say I skimmed a little bit because I thought I didn't want my reader to get bored. I wanted them to move right along through the story, but I think... Um, I could put more information in there and still keep it, you know, where they're going to want to continue to 